So Tom is the chef and I am the baker. So I've got my Santa apron on. Woo! And making some vegan pumpkin pie. So I've got um, a can of pumpkin in there, a third cup of brown sugar, a third cup of regular sugar, and there's gonna be some more ingredients. I will leave the link to it in the comments below or in the description. And, uh, but yeah, getting excited, making some Thanksgiving pumpkin pie, vegan style, yay! So I mixed all the ingredients and it said it would be smooth and creamy. It's just wet, so I added about two or three tablespoons of vegan cream cheese to see if that would thicken it up. And when I poured it in the, um, into the pan, I would have to say I don't think it's thickened it up. It is really, it's like smooth it with a spoon. Uh, that's just like water. So I'm not gonna be smoothing that with a spoon, but I'll pop it in and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Now I'm on to a peppermint chocolate vegan pie. So I got this vegan crust at the store pepper crust and I've got in here um, tofu and um, coconut whipped cream and melted uh, vegan chocolate chips and some coconut creamer and so I'm gonna mix it all together pour it into the uh, pie crust and then put it in the freezer for three hours so it should be really yummy chocolate peppermint pie again well, wish me luck. haven't tried this coconut whipped cream yet it is better than real whipped cream even if you're not vegan this needs to be in your life I got it at Trader Joe's it is amazing amazing it's so so crazy yummy I didn't even like I never have liked whipped cream even when I wasn't vegan oh my gosh this is amazing try it it's so delicious this one seems way thicker like and creamier and it's like thick mousse or something it's really good right now. I'm gonna put it into the freezer. So maybe I got this one more right than the last one. You know, the problem with the pumpkin pie was it said I needed full fat coconut milk and it said I could use reduced fat, it would just be less creamy. And that's all I had was reduced fat. And um, I gotta say like, wow, super, super less creamy. So again, I'm really hoping that when it bakes up, all that water will leave that pumpkin pie and it will be delicious. So. Fingers crossed. But there we are, that's our baking endeavors. I have one more set of cookies I might make, but I think I actually have to relinquish control of the kitchen to Tom so that he can start making our actual dinner and all of our yummy side dishes. Here they are, so we have the chocolate and the pumpkin. The pumpkin looks really dark because I just kept cooking it and cooking it until I put the um, you know fork in the middle and it came out not covered in stuff, so I don't know I don't know what that means. So let's give it to Tommy and see what he thinks of each one. All right, doing chocolate peppermint first. Mm -hmm. Very bitter chocolate, but great. Very good. How's the consistency? Is it creamy? Is it weird? Is it creamy, bad? but very th a little thicker though. I mean, kind of pudding-like, but very bitter, like very dark, dark chocolate. That is delicious. Really? Mm-hmm. I was so worried because it was super runny and gross. I hear you. The That's pumpkin good? pie is phenomenal. It is very pumpkin pie-ish. Delicious. Close up. Pumpkin yeah, pie. put it in your mouth. Ooh, that's good. I'll put it in the mouth. Okay, hang on. It's great. It is. <laughs> I don't like pumpkin pie, but that's actually really creamy and nice. That's actually, I like that consistency better than regular pumpkin pie. Seeing you cooked it like five hours longer than you thought you were gonna. Yeah, so I'm gonna post the recipe, but then cook it five hours longer. 
not five hours, but you know what no, I mean. No, but yeah. Close to it. That I like that consistency way more than pumpkin pie. I do. Sometimes pumpkin pie is really granular. Don't like it. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hope you're thankful for everything in your life. And <laughs> hope you enjoyed you and your turkey time. Hope your families weren't too big turkeys, because that sucks. I had a wonderful time with my family on my turkey day. I'm very thankful for everything in my life. So I hope you are as well. Have a great day. Stay full. All right, now for the chubby vegan scorecard for the recipes. So because it's recipes, it's gonna be a little bit different. Basically, two important questions. One, does it taste like the real thing, right? And two, do I wanna go through the trouble of making it again? Buying the ingredients, messing up my kitchen, all that yada yada, do I wanna bother? So basically, if it's a yeah, a total 100% yes, it'll be five pieces of bacon for each. So with both of those pies, they were both awesome. They tasted really great. Um, one crust was store-bought, one crust was made, and um, both were fantastic, awesome. I'm gonna make sure I put those recipes down in the bottom, uh, in the description below. Um, the only thing was with the chocolate cake, you absolutely had to have the whipped cream. But other than that, yes, four slabs of bacon for, did it taste like the real thing? And four slabs of bacon for, would I bother messing up my kitchen again? Yeah, totally. If I need to be, bring a vegan pie somewhere or a dessert, I'm probably gonna bring that chocolate one with the whipped cream. And if I am doing a holiday like Thanksgiving or Christmas again, um, I will definitely use that recipe for the pumpkin pie as a traditional pumpkin pie. So absolutely loved it. All right, that is it for our recipe review. We hope that you had a great holiday and we absolutely hope that you will help support us by pressing subscribe, pressing that little alert button and following us. Also head on over to Instagram, find us on our other social media platforms, follow us and tag a friend, tag an omnivore, carnivore, vegan, anyone who eats, go ahead and tag them. We would love for you to help share our page with as many people as possible. So also please comment below. Do you live in the Charleston area? Is there a restaurant we've got to check out? Or maybe you know of a recipe that you really wanna see um, what we think of it. Or maybe there's just a beer you think we should try. So tonight's um, vlog beer is sponsored by Fat Orange Cat. Not really sponsored by, I guess I sponsored Fat Orange Cat by buying it. <laughs> I love this beer. This one is called Vito the Beer Whale Cat. I have only had one fat orange cat that I was not absolutely in love with. It is definitely a pricey beer, special for the holidays, one a night and then go to something cheaper. Um, but it is my special, special treat. So Tommy treated me, surprised me yesterday and bought me a four pack of those fat orange cats, my absolute favorite. And it is so for beer, for my home vlog, that definitely gets five mugs because I have the best beer right now. All right, stay full, subscribe, follow us, share with friends, and be well. All right, take care, bye-bye. So yummy.